Uh, let me just say, first of all, how very happy I am to see Colonel Clements here. Um, I've known him since he was a sergeant, I believe, on the Providence Police Department. He brings the perspective of having led the police union of the Providence Police Department and led the Providence Police Department, and having left both of those roles both unscathed and with uh, enormous affection and respect from the union membership, from the members of the police department, and from the community where he was instrumental in maintaining solid, good, trusting relations between the Providence Police Department and the various Providence communities that it serves. So it's a real treat to see you here, my friend. Um, and I wanted to ask two quick things. One, the COPS hiring program and the grants that go out always get a lot of attention, but what are some of the best ways that the COPS office works to build trust between communities and law enforcement um, that you were so instrumental in doing a great job with in Providence? So uh, first off, always great to see you, Senator. Uh, maybe not so much in, in this type of forum. <laughs> We've had more fun, right? I thank you for your words, though. But look, uh, the COPS hiring program is the flagship program, and I know it was integ integral to the work that we did in Providence. And I see now in this role the importance of looking at the applications. Once again, the needs, fire all pace the funding. So we got 654 applications for COPS hiring grants and only award just under 400. Those other uh, 200 agencies or so, 250, were, were needy of the COPS hiring. Only those applications with the greatest or, or the strongest plan of community engagement, community involvement, and what I saw from where I came from was uh, partnerships and building relationships across the board, across the community. And we always included that as part of our application process, and I'm seeing now uh, there are many like agencies doing similar things. Uh, it's true. Uh, the word community is in the cops office for a particular reason. It is community policing. The word public is in public safety for a reason. Uh, it's, you know, it will always be that strong criminal enforcement because people want to be safe. People want a community to live and thrive uh, in, but they want it to be safe. So it will be those conversations with the community, community informed conversations that drive the agency. And let's just be a little bit uh, more specific um, in particular relation to the bill that Senator Cornyn and I worked on regarding de-escalation mm -hmm. and uh, crisis intervention um, and strategic alternatives to the use of force. When we did that, we chose the COPS program to be the implementer to work with and train agencies. How is that going? It's going great. I can tell you the, uh, the value in the field is uh, well regarded. Uh, the interest is overwhelming. Uh, and I stood with you, I think it was in 2019, in the Providence Public Safety Headquarters when you announced a, a portion of that. Uh, uh, supporting and treating officers in crisis, the Stoic Act of 2019. I believe it, it's coming up, uh, maybe the end of this year or next year. But it, it's integral to the work that we do in the field with having a co-response of trained clinicians working hand in glove with the police department to provide those services that police officers oftentimes aren't the best trained, aren't the best equipped. But in that de-escalation uh, training act, it, it uh, imposed some very important terms like uh, alternatives to use of force. Uh, the training is integral. Duty to intervene uh, is important and now incorporated in, as part of training in most organizations. Or, but there are still some that are lacking. That's why the funding for this type of uh, award are so important to agencies around the country. I'm finding out not every agency is doing it to the same degree of uh, efficiency. Good work getting back to the need for funding. Thank you, sir. Uh, Mr. Chairman, thank you very much.
Colonel Clements, thank you. Good to see you, sir. Good to see you, And uh, Senator Ossoff, my appreciation for jumping in ahead.